Fortnite Squad. Best Fortnite news source on the internet. It's undisputed. It's Fort Lore. Welcome back. Got some news. If you're new around here, I post Fortnite news videos whenever there's a decent amount of news, lores, memes, and more. And let's just get right into it. All right, let's check this thing out. 10.20 patch notes. What is new? The brand new Rift Zone based on Pandora. Fortnite X Mayhem. This is a collaboration with Borderlands 3. So basically, instead of getting Moisty Palms, we got Pandora. But well, I'll get more into that in a bit. Anyways, there is a new shield bubble. Take cover under this dome that's invulnerable to projectiles and explosives. Okay. Rare item found from floor loot. Chests everywhere. Almost. Lasts for 30 seconds. Creates a large bubble that blocks projectiles and explosives. However, players still can run through it. Bubbles emitter has 400 HP. Destroying it deactivates the bubble. So, a bubble. Here's some of the vaults here. Storm flip, drum gun, and the storm scout sniper rifle are out of the game. What else? What do we got here? Oh yeah, more information on Pandora. At the oasis near Paradise Palms, a rift beacon has created the Pandora Rift Zone, part of the Fortnite X Mayhem collab. This rift zone highly resembles the planet Pandora from Borderlands 3 of or Borderlands, I don't know which Borderlands game. I'm not an expert, but you know, you get the point. Uh, however, it's more than just a model. Even the rules of this planet will apply. While at the zone, players will begin to generate shield after four seconds of not taking damage. And people have been pointing out that you actually get so much shield, so interesting. Pandora will be available until September 10th, which is, I assume, when Moisty Palms is probably going to take over. Or it's going to switch to Moisty Palms, maybe. I'm not sure if that's, you know, obviously true, but it's just speculation. What else we got here? A lot of bug fixes. Anything else? Ah, uh, yes. Pandora building set. In creative, you got some prefabs. There's a lot more than, you know, what you're seeing in this image, but you got some prefabs if you're a big Borderlands guy. I know I did enjoy myself some Borderlands 2. But yeah, you know, there you go. And then there's a torch and flashlight pistol along with a speaker device. There's just a lot. I mean, obviously the torch and flashlight pistol, pretty self-explanatory, a torch, a flashlight pistol. On top of that, all pickaxes are now available in Save the World and vice versa, all your Save the World pickaxes. The unlock, the, uh, you know, the layer of unlocking pickaxes, pretty much obtain them all. When you log in to save the world, I, I got like six of them and uh, they carry over to Battle Royale. So pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, before we get into the leaks here, we got the Pandora skin with Claptrap as the as the pet. Obviously the back bling, quote unquote. It feels like I'm playing like a bot again. I'm trying to, I am trying to like be as positive as I can about this game, but just the epic employees, like, I want to go over there and just smack them in the face, honestly. And that's a threat. Oh, I'm so good! You're just going through my shit! I'm trying to turbo build, you're just going through my stuff. Alright, I'm holding. I am holding right now. Yeah, I'm holding it. No, dude, no, my health. What do you mean? That's such a funny as. That's stupid. Holy shit, did I just hit you? I hit you again. Alright guys, that's all, that's all you really need to know about this new f***ing retarded as update. Bro, what were they thinking? I want to smack the shit out of them. Low key. Anyway, alright, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Just go busy! If you know who Claptrap is, that annoying little thing. <laughs> A clap trap, and I'm I'm triggered that it's in this game now. But you know, <laughs> so there you go. It's actually a pretty nice set. I I might actually get it. I don't even know. And then here's the challenge bundle. There's obviously a you know a set of challenges that you can complete, and these wraps are looking really cool. Here are actually the challenges themselves. There right now, uh, pretty pretty easy challenges. I think they're all within Pandora. 
took a look at him. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, pretty nice free random rewards, so it's, you know, it's a win-win situation. Not the most leaks in the world, but uh, let's go through them real quick. Here is Kevin the Cube returning. Loading screen. This motel is actually leaked in game. I will show that in just a minute. I'm going to get to the other loading screen really quick. It's going to appear above Fatal Fields and destroy bits and pieces of it. Not the whole thing, nothing major, but yeah, I wonder if it's going to bring that huge purple storm cloud or that's just part of the art. I think that'd actually be pretty cool, but you know, the map would be really messy. And, <laughs> and we got this uh, just toxic skin showcase loading screen. It just, I'm pretty sure it just showcases the new toxic skin. I don't know if this is a Borderlands skin or just like a Fortnite skin in general or whatever, but yeah, I don't think that has anything to do with Borderlands. Just like, you know, just a skin. All right, let's take a look at Kevin the Cube. Brand new point of interest leaked by Fort Tory really swiftly, actually. Get an in-game look at it. Obviously, it's not going to be at Pressure Plant. It's just, uh, you know, where he decided to record it. Pretty hectic. You got the motel on there. You got the Der Burger with the drift spray paint. Lonely Lodge sign that went missing, like, in Season 4. You got Loot Lake. You got an ice cream truck. It, it's crazy. It's There's so many things. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on up here. So it seems like it's going to be a pretty hype return. Probably going to be for next week. I mean, it is going to be for next week because we got the uh, we got the map HLOD thing files. And uh, yeah, right here, pretty much this will most likely be the thing that comes in the next update. Speaking of Rift Beacons, there was actually one found in Greasy Grove. Rift Beacon in Greasy Frozen. This is in the files. So Greasy may be returning in some way, shape, or form. Maybe the future, maybe the past. Maybe in, you know, who knows what style at this point. But yeah, for now, it's just a leak. We don't know any other information on it. So Greasy returning. Kind of hope. That was actually, you know, one of the best spots to land in the game. Got a new trap. Zapper trap. This is for Battle Royale, yes. You might be thinking, hey, this is for Save the World. Nope. This is a Battle Royale trap coming to the game. Maybe next week, because this was the only item, as far as I'm concerned, that was actually leaked. So, yeah, I think this is the one that's coming next week. Zapper Trap. Next stack size of four and throwable, actually. That's kind of weird. Bottom right, it says throwable. Uh, I'm not sure if that's accurate because it's a trap, but throwable. And before we get into the cosmetics, we got the butterfly files. New butterfly animation files or, you know, event files are found in the files. <laughs> uh, you know, animations, camera shakes, stuff like that. Maybe there's going to be like a mini uh, live event when the cube returns. Who knows, though? Maybe this is leading up to a huge event that kind of includes all the past live events. I think that would be pretty insane. What do you think about it? Now that's all we know. And here is all the cosmetics. Just going to go through them as usual. I'm just going to really quick go through them pretty quickly. You know, just as usual. Pause where we want to pause. I did not mean to open that. <laughs> That's so annoying. Uh, crunk bunny. What the heck? Crap trap. Annoying robot. I hope it doesn't speak. I really do. Just, just hope that it doesn't speak words or whatever. If you've ever played a Borderlands game, that thing is so annoying. I don't even want to get into it, to be honest with you. Skins are pretty brute and, you know, bulky. I think that's all for it right about now. All right, and that's all we got for the video today. Hope you enjoyed. Since you made it this far into the video, might as well leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me out, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. All right, here we go. And like I said, I got all these Save the World pickaxes. This is what I'm talking about. If, in case you didn't know, Basic Basher. You know, I got got some of the levels of the pickaxes. Uh, you know, they're not best looking pickaxes. But this one looks nice, so I'm using it for now, I guess. And the farmer skin because of the loading screen. And let's check out Pandora. All right, let's take a look see who is coming. Oh, there's a couple thousand people. This is going to be good and easy. I, I might have the worst landing here, and for some reason I can't go any lower, even though I'm nowhere near the ground, but okay. Oh, I guess I get to go to Westworld with all the absolute 
Legendary masterminds. Get me a chest. Get me something good. Come on. I just found cash or something. Come on. Get the kill. Get the kill. Oh my gosh. You do get shields really fast. What the heck? What? Where the hell do you find that thing? Get out of here. Get out of my game. Yeah, that's right. Don't ever mess with me again. Alright. Is this a junk rift? Hey. I get to be good for free. Yes. Did I win? Oh, no. I didn't win. Guess I'm still bad no matter what I use. How about this one, then? That'll work. That'll get him for sure. Ah. Dang it. I gotta go. Did I mention that they nerfed building a little bit? Did I mention that? Does it matter? It's this guy. He's immortal. He's immortal. He's the best player in the world. He's the best. He's the best, dude. Why do I have to deal with this guy? He's too good for me. He has a thousand traps, too. Not fair. It's not fair to have to deal with this guy all game long. Come on. You regenerate shields so fast. Oh no. Why me, man? Why me? Shoot the other guy. No, no, no. Not me. Not me. No. Okay, well, this game is so annoying. <laughs> that was so annoying. That was actually so annoying. Alright, hi guys. Um, this is gonna be a short video because the new update came out and I know a lot of people wanna know what it's like. This is, this is gonna be my, my reaction to the new building nerf. Let's just, let's just do a 1v1. What the f is that, bro? I can't do a 9! What the f is this? <laughs> no, but seriously, what the f is this? Holy shit! You have to hold it there for like a solid second. Pro, oh wait, pro scrims and everything. Gone. See you later. Don't even worry about that anymore. No! What? <laughs> Literally holding it down! Bro, if this is in the game for more than two days, I think I might just grind Popper's Popperizza, honestly. This, this shit's dog shit. Did I, what did I just say? Popper's Pizzeria. I can't do these 90s anymore. What crack were they smoking when they like, SMOKE WEED EVERY DAY! What epic employee was like, yo dude? Building some shit now, we should just make it even worse. Like, what, what kind of shit were they smoking? Oh, you just- you're breaking through my shit! Wait, what am I doing? Oh, dude! Oh, dude. <laughs> what? At least, at least I still have editing. Usually every update, people like complain about it for like, I don't know, they complain about it for like a month or so, like, or a week. And then they just get used to it. But, bro, no one's gonna get used to this. This is just ridiculous. You can't get used to this. Oh, dude, I can't do anything. 